today is going to be an awesome day. I'm going to the nearby woods. This is so cool because I never get to go to the woods. My parents just don't take me there. But, ha, my parents are away and my Aunt Sue said she'd take me. We got up early, had breakfast, and packed our lunch. It was going to be a long day. Before you know it, we're on our way. Keys in the ignition, foot on the gas, and off we go. An hour later, we are there. A dirt parking space and a trail. That's it. We grabbed our backpacks and walked into the woods. There is a stream, and I saw a fox by the stream drinking water. The fox jumps into the stream because it was so hot out. It swims away, but we follow it. It leads us to a trail, a secret trail. We hear wind howling and we come upon a secret house. There are lots of spider webs all over the house and the house looks really old. The brown paint was faded and started to chip off and there were even broken windows. We went into the house through a broken down door and the fox was in the house. The fox looked back and it ran upstairs. We see a man's shadow when we went up there. It looked like a zombie's shadow because he was skinny and his head was a little bigger than his body. Suddenly, the shadow disappeared. Then, the shadow reappeared behind us and put its hands on me. I jumped and let out an ear-splitting scream. Ah! I ran with my Aunt Sue into another room where the fox was. Then, the fox turns into a hawk and flies out the broken window. As we turn around to go, we see in front of us a bedroom, and it looks amazing. The bedroom has completely white walls and a canopy bed that can float and a swing. On the bed, there was this girl and she's crying. The girl said she wandered into the house and was lost. Through her tears, the girl told us that she had been trapped in there for years in the middle of the woods. Over the years, she figured out that she was trapped in a labyrinth. She explained there was a door under her bed. Suddenly, we hear a creak outside the room. The girl said, come on, let's go. We crawled under the bed. Aunt Sue accidentally pushed on the trap door and we fall through. We end up in a cave. There are more spider webs and this time bats. However, there is a stream that looks similar to the one the fox was swimming in outside. Hmm, let's check it out. We hear a man's voice and a thud. We know the shadow zombie is after us. We run and run until we find a portal. It was crazy because we were running on floating rocks that kept multiplying. <sighs> By the exit portal, the rocks stop. We see the shadow zombie running after us. We hold our breath <gasps> and jump through the portal. <sighs> Look back and we see the floating rocks are gone. If we jumped a second later, we would have fallen into the water and not made it. We are back in the woods again, but this time we have another person with us. Suddenly, the girl starts to change. Her arms become branches, and her body becomes the trunk of a tree, and her hair becomes moss. She also sprouts cherry blossoms. However, it is the most beautiful tree in the woods. We're not really sure what happened, why that happened. We are nervous and relieved and really tired. We see our footprints in the mud and we follow them. They lead us back to the car. My aunt is shaking. Ooh, ooh, and she tries to put the keys in the car door. Then 
We see the hawk with its sharp talons. We both look at each other and we scream.